If you're up for a short, challenging cardio workout to strengthen your heart, then this Tabata program involving a high intensity, 20 second burst of exercise, followed by a 10 second rest, followed by another high intensity, 20 second burst of exercise, followed by another 10 seconds rest, and so on, might just be for you. Hi everyone and welcome to Exercise for Health. I'm Richard and if you're in need of a quick energy boost, I have a short 10 minute aerobic workout for you to follow. If you're new to this channel, we offer tips, advice and exercises each week to help you manage your health condition with physical activity. So go ahead and tap the subscribe button below and the bell icon if you want to be notified of when we upload a new video. So today's home exercise video is primarily based on a Tabata style workout that is normally eight rounds of 20 seconds of a particular exercise with a 10 second rest between each round. However, I've modified it slightly in the sense that we'll be doing four different exercises, but with only four rounds of each. So rather than doing two minutes of the exercise non-stop, breaking it down into four 20 second rounds with a 10 seconds rest means that you can work at a higher intensity, which is great for the majority of health conditions that I've covered on this channel. It may not be suitable for anyone with a heart condition as there isn't a lengthy warm up or cool down to this workout, but it might be okay if you use this in the middle of some other gentle exercises for 10 to 15 minutes before and after. I've also included four options for each exercise ranging from level one, the basic version, up to level four if you're feeling more advanced or you feel that you can cope with a more difficult version of the exercise. I will be doing level one throughout the video, but I'll put up the other three variations at the bottom of the screen in case you feel you want to work a bit harder. You can even mix them up as you're performing the workout depending on how you feel. In addition, you can also use this workout as a barometer for your fitness to see if you can work through to the higher levels over a period of weeks. I will briefly put the workout up on screen now in case you want to pause the video to get a good idea of the program. But as always, make sure you work to a level and a pace that you can manage and we will have 30 seconds recovery after each exercise so I can explain what the next one is. You won't need any equipment for this, just a space to perform the exercises in. Okay, with that said, get yourself ready and let's get started. Okay, get yourself ready for the warm up. Let's start off with a gentle walk on the spot just to get everything moving. So it's only gonna be one minute this one, it's gonna be very quick, and then we'll go straight into the exercise, and I will, oh, during the warm up, I'll have to talk you through what the first exercise is with the different variations as well. Let's do a side step touch from there, moving from side to side. Good, back into a walk again, and get the shoulders moving, so a few shoulder shrugs. And then get the arms rolling forwards, and backwards. Right, just keep marching on the spot for a minute while I talk you through the first exercise, which we're gonna do in 20 seconds. First one's gonna be a spotty dog, where you do a toe tap to the back and an arm raise up to the front. That's gonna be the one I'm gonna do. If you want to make it harder, you can do it as a leg raise to the back instead of a toe tap. The third variation is both arms raise as you do the leg raise behind. And then the fourth one is a full spotty dog. Ready? Off we go. So make sure you take it at your pace. So I'm doing the easiest variation, but if you want to do one of the other harder ones, they're below. Check those out if you want a harder version. Remember, it's only 20 seconds, so last few seconds. Good, and rest. So we've got 10 seconds rest, then we're going to go into round two, exactly the same exercise. You can change the variation as you go through if you want to. Get ready, and off we go. Another 20 seconds. So try and get to a good tempo with these 20 second bursts, but make sure you're working to your level. Good, last five seconds. Good, 10 seconds rest. Get the oxygen back in. Get yourself ready for the third set. Three, two, one, off we go. Good. So you should be feeling that heart rate's up by now. 
Good, last five seconds. Well done, 10 seconds rest. We've just got one more round with this first exercise. So get the oxygen back in again. Three, two, one, last round, off we go. Keep it going, keep it going. Hold that pace, last five seconds. Well done, and have a rest. Right, while you're having a rest, I'm gonna talk you through the second exercise, which is gonna be squats. So the variation I'm gonna do level one is gonna be a half squat, where I'm not letting the hips come down too far. So we're just going down halfway. If you wanna do level two, that's a full squat. So we're going right the way down. So trying to get the bottom down level with the knees or a bit lower if you can. Level three is where we do a full squat. And then as you come back up, we do a heel lift. So going up onto the balls of the feet. So that's level three. And then level four, if you're really up for it, is squat jumps. So that's actually where we're gonna come up and leave the floor. Okay, get yourself ready. And off we go, first 20 second round. So I'm just doing the half squat, not going too low. I'm raising my arms up at the front as a counterbalance, but you can do what you want with your arms. So you should have your feet and your knees shoulder width wide. Make sure they maintain the same width while you're doing that squat. Good, 10 seconds rest. Get the oxygen back in. Okay, three, two, one, off we go again. Back into that squat. So your variation, choose the one that's right for you. Remember we're keeping those knees the same width as the feet as you're squatting down. So be careful that they don't come in like this. It's a common mistake with squats. Three, two, one, good. 10 seconds rest. Legs might be starting to feel it. Give them a shake if you need to. Get ready for round three. And off we go. Good. So maintain that tempo. Whatever pace you've tried to stick with, just try and stick with that all the way through each round of 20 seconds. Remember, it's only 20 seconds, we get a 10 second rest. Good, and rest. 10 seconds, give those legs a shake. Oh, one more round left. Three, two, one. Last round, off we go. Last lot of 20 seconds. Keep the oxygen going in. This is still aerobic, even though this is used as a strength exercise. If we're doing it at tempo, working a lot of muscles, it's gonna get the heart rate up. Three, two, one. Good, have a rest. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna go on to, after we've had an extra 30 seconds rest, is gonna be jumping jacks. So for this one, the first variation is we do a toe tap to the side with an arm raise up to the side and then back to the center. So that's gonna be the one I'm gonna do, which is level one. Level two is where you do a leg raise instead of a toe tap, as your arm goes up to the side. Level three is both arms with a leg raise. And then level four, if you wanna go for it, that's gonna be full on jumping jacks. Okay, so I'll let you choose your variation. We've got five seconds before we start. Three, two, one, off you go. So again, work to that pace and that tempo that you can sustain all the way through for the four rounds of 20 seconds. Keep the oxygen going in. Listen to your breathing. Three, two, one. Well done, 10 seconds rest. Try and get the oxygen back in. Get yourself ready for round two. Three, two, one, and off we go again. Good. Hold that pace, keep it going. Halfway through this round. Last five seconds. Well done, have a rest, 10 seconds. Should be feeling hard, should be feeling it. Get yourself ready for round three. Three, two, one, off we go again. So it's that high intensity burst. So you're pushing it a little bit harder than what you normally would do, because we're only doing it for 20 seconds. And then you're gonna get that 10 second rest again. 
Last five seconds. Good, have a rest. One more round on this one. So, five seconds, get yourself ready for the last one. Three, two, one, off we go. Hold that pace. Can you up a little bit if you can? Good, halfway through this last round. Hold that pace, hold that tempo. Three, two, one. Well done, have a rest. Right, we've just got one exercise left and that's gonna be knee raises. So again, I'll show you the four different variations. The one I'm gonna do is just gonna be a knee raise up to the front where we bring right knee to right hand, left knee to left hand and the hands are relatively low. So we're not coming up too high. So that's gonna be level one. If you wanna do level two, hands come up higher and you're bringing the knee across to the opposite hand. So there's a little bit of a twist involved with that one, so that's level two. Level three is to the elbow, so we're bringing up knee to opposite elbow, which is a little bit harder. And then if you really wanna go for it, we can put in a full impact with a little bit of a hop. So get yourself ready, off we go. So knee raises. Again, I'm doing level one. If you wanna do one of the other harder variations, choose one below but make sure you can stick to that pace and that tempo all the way through the 20 seconds for four rounds. Good, 10 seconds rest, get the oxygen in. Five seconds, get ready for round two. And off we go. Good. Good. So remember this is a cardio workout, is aerobic. So we're trying to up that tempo. Well done, 10 seconds rest. Just two rounds left, and then we go into a cool down and stretch to finish off. Okay, get ready for round three. Three, two, one, off you go. Can you go any faster? At least try and hold the pace if you can. Obviously, if you come through and do this a second time, third time, it will start to get easier. So you can start choosing the harder variations. Good. 10 seconds rest. One round left. Get the oxygen in. Get ready. Three, two, one. Last round, off we go. See if you can increase that pace if you can for this last one. Because this is the last hard bit, last bit of high intensity. We're going into a cool down and stretch after this for a minute. That's a quick 10 minutes gone. Keep it going, keep it going. Last few seconds. Well done. Good work. Right, in your space then, just do a nice gentle walk. We'll do a little cool down for a minute or so. Focus on your breathing. We're trying to regulate your breathing now and bring your breathing to come back down to normal. So a nice gentle walk. Good. Okay, while walking, we'll just do a couple of stretches. So we'll do a back stretch. If you put one hand on top of the other, roll the shoulders forwards and straighten your arms as you push the hands away and hold that position with your arms so you can stretch the muscles around the top of the back. But just keep marching gently. Nice, slow walk now. Focus on your breathing. Good, and then next one, bring the hands into the lower part of the back and then we're gonna squeeze the elbows and the shoulder blades backwards. So we're opening up the muscles across the chest. Start to slow that walking pace down a bit now as well. So as you're stretching, you should feel as though your heart rate's beginning to come back down and your breathing's coming back to normal. Good, okay, gradually bring the feet down to a standstill. Just finish off with a tricep stretch. So hand to shoulder, push the elbow up and back. Good, and release and then switch over, do the same on the opposite side. So hand to shoulder and then lift the elbow up and back. Good, well done everybody, good work. Well done for completing today's routine and hopefully you'll gain a little bit of an energy boost from it. If you enjoyed the exercises today, please give it a like by clicking the thumbs up button below and share this video with friends to help this channel grow so more people can benefit from it. 
Thank you so much for watching and remember to stay active, keep moving and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click here to subscribe to this channel or click here to watch a recent video. See you soon.